Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Now this one's a little bit different from the norm. Normally I'm doing a predictions video with Nathan for football in the Premier League or the Championship or somewhere else in Europe a day. I'm actually going to be doing a, an unboxing video. Usually after doing a predictions video I'll download the filming that we've done onto a laptop. Now this is my current laptop which is um, a HP. I think it's about six or seven years of age. It's got Windows 8 on there with a, a small hard drive and it's, it's basically on its last leg. So what I thought, should I just upgrade, get a new laptop or should I get a desktop PC? I haven't really got the, the space for a, a desktop PC at the moment. And with a laptop, the screen size is a little bit too small. So I thought I'd go for an all-in-one. So the all-in-one I've purchased is a HP Pavilion 24-X8 1007NA. So let's bring it up on the table and unbox. Okay, so the HP Pavilion comes in standard size box, as you can see. Open it with scissors, should be a little bit careful with this. You don't want to damage the product inside. Let's have a look what we've got. Okay, so just take out these two items first. So we have all the polystyrene. that is the actual screen itself and some more polystyrene okay so that's the box itself okay take off the rest of the polystyrene there okay Screens. Get rid of that. So that's the main computer. So we've got a 23.8 inch screen there. I know they, they mark it up on the box as 24 inches. Okay, so let's just put that to the side and have a look at what we've got in the two boxes. Okay, setup instructions, warranty information. Okay, one power, three pin power plug, and transformer. And that's it for that first box. Second box, we've got a Bluetooth keyboard, and a Bluetooth mouse. Let's just take those out of there. Nice and white, not sure about the colour, uh, maybe black would have been better, but uh, very nice all the same. We've got the Bluetooth dongle for the mouse and keyboard. Put that away there. And we've got four AAA batteries for both the mouse and the keyboard. Okay, so that's everything. As I said, we've got the power, keyboard mouse, a couple of batteries and a Bluetooth dongle. Let's have a closer inspection of the actual PC itself. This is the rear of the PC. You can see on the top, we've got the sort of the rear of the webcam where it says do not use as a handle. So we'll just, I think we've got to peel off the tape and put it into position. So let's just peel this off. And that pops up all like so. There we go, so the webcam can be slotted up and down like that. 
So looking at the rear of the machine, we have one 3.5 millimeter headphone slash microphone port. We have one three in one memory card slot. We have two USB C ports. We have two USB three ports. We have one USB free charging port. We have one HDMI in and one HDMI out port. We have one RJ45 ethernet port. We have the power connector port. And looking on the right hand side, we have a security cable slot. On the right hand side of the screen, we have the menu display button, the menu browse up button, and the menu browse down button. And on the left hand side of the display, we have the power button. Okay, next job is to plug in. So the power goes in there in the back. And obviously, goes in there. And we'll plug the other end into the wall. Before we power on though, we'll need to put the batteries in both the keyboard and the mouse. So, looking on the rear, standard sort of setup. One goes in there, and the other one like so, and then place the little cover. Okay, with the mouse, you have to actually take the cover off of these ones, I believe. Yeah, there we are. And we'll put the two AAA batteries in like so. And then put the mouse cover back on. And you can see you can actually line these up with the, uh, with the holes on the underside of the mouse. And they just snap in like that. Okay, we've got the USB uh, Bluetooth dongle, which will plug into the back of the main unit. And we'll plug it in just there. So when we power on, it should recognize it. So let's power on. So I'm just going to run through the usual standard Windows 10 setup here. So rather than boring you with the Windows 10 setup, I will go ahead and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so Windows 10 now is all configured, gone through the startup process there. So I just run through the specs on the machine. As we said, it's got Windows 10, which is the 64-bit version. We got the AMD Ryzen 5. 355H processor. So if I just go into system, not sure if you can make that out. So there we are, AMD Ryzen 5 3350H with Radeon Vega model GFX 2.10 gigahertz. Now, there's eight gigabytes of RAM on here, as you can see. Storage wise, there is two drives and one of the main reasons why I went for this model is you've got the 256 gigabyte SSD or solid state drive which makes things run really quickly and then you've got the data drive which is a one terabyte and in the case of me that's where all my files are going to go, you know, all my videos that are recorded etc and they'll be backed up. This particular model isn't touch screen and um, screen size is actually 23.8 inches. Uh, it's a LED, it's full HD, which is 1920 by 1080p. Uh, it's WLED backlighting. Uh, it's got Wi-Fi on there. I've just hooked up to the my home Wi-Fi. It's got two dual three watt speakers, which are on the rear, which I showed you a little earlier. It hasn't got a DVD or Blu-ray drive, but I can always just plug an external one in for that. It's got camera, of course, webcam. So if I ever I decide to do some more streaming, then I can use that. Wireless mouse, of course, wireless keyboard, screen tilt. Now I know a lot of people in other videos have seen what the screen tilt was like, so let's test it out. Okay, so we can go all the way back. What's that about? not even 45 degrees, I'd say about 40 degrees, you'd say there, probably that's 45 degrees. 
90, 45, maybe it is just 45 degrees. And forwards, hmm, what's that about? 20 degrees, 10 degrees. So not too much forward movement, but it can actually move back. Swivel, it doesn't swivel to the side like some monitors. So you may have to just pick that up and move it around slightly. So it only goes sort of back and forth. The dimensions of the screen is 442.4 height, 160 millimeters width, and a depth of 544.3 millimeters. It weighs 5.59 kilograms. It's got a one year manufacturer's guarantee. Okay, so what sort of software is installed on here? Let's have a look. So we've got the AMD Radeon settings, HP Auto Switch, which we'll probably remove, HP Connection Optimizer, probably remove that as well, HP Display Control Set Service, HP Documentation, all this HP bump. We've got McAfee Live Safe. I'll probably get rid of that and put my own virus scanner software on here. Microsoft OneDrive, which I've set up across all my devices. Um, Microsoft C, Realtek Bluetooth Driver, uh, Real, Realtek Card Reader for the memory cards, and Wild Tangent Games as well. So not a lot on there. Um, what I'm going to be putting on here predominantly is Sony Vegas for editing my videos and Photoshop. And I'll probably put a copy of Microsoft Office on there as well to uh, do some household spreadsheets. And thank you. Turn it off, close there. So my first thoughts on this, yeah, looks a beautiful display, maybe not top notch, but what I can see so far, it looks fine for what I need to do. Um, I haven't really tested out the speed or anything yet, but just clicking around in uh, around Windows there, it, it seems to be working fine. But uh, for now, yeah, I'm at the moment pretty happy with this. Um, I'll see how we get on over the next week or so. Um, actually, what I'll do first, I'm just going to do a quick sound test to see what these speakers are like. So if I go into Internet Explorer, I don't actually like using Edge, so I'll change the defaults on that in a moment. As you can hear, you know, sound isn't too bad. Okay, if you wanted to get that a lot better, if you're playing games on here, then you could put a, a set of speakers in there, just plug it into a USB device, I suppose. But uh, yeah, you can control the sound as well from the keyboard. Turn it up and down. Sound-wise, yeah, not too bad. Let's have a listen to that from the front. Yeah, so for my purposes, yeah, that sound is going to be more than suitable. So we are guys, that's the HP Pavilion 24-XA1007NA. Hope you enjoyed me unboxing it, and I'll see you in the next video. Any questions, just leave them in the comment section.